video, we'll learn a simple model of consumer behavior. So imagine a situation where a consumer has some money and he wishes to spend it in the best possible way. We'll learn how to model this behavior in a simple a two commodity world setting. Okay. So imagine that it is feasible for this consumer to consume any non-negative quantity of X and Y. So this defines our commodity space. So commodity space is nothing but it is a set of all feasible consumption bundles. Okay. And it is given by R2 plus, which is X, Y such that X is non-negative and Y is non-negative. What are the constraints that this consumer face? Okay. That's the next thing. Okay. So imagine that the commodity X is selling at price PX, commodity Y is selling at price PY and the income that the consumer has is M. So the constraint of this particular consumer is a set of all bundles that costs less than or equal to M. Okay. Formally, if you want to write it, this is uh, X, Y in the, in the commodity space such that the expenditure on X, Y is less than or equal to M. Okay. Now, the next thing that we would like to know is how does this consumer rank different alternatives in the commodity space? We are going to assume that there exists a utility function that assigns numbers to different alternatives in such a way that higher the alternatives in the preference ranking of the consumer, higher the utility that is assigned to it. So we are saying that there exists a utility function which is going to map every point or every bundle in the commodity space to a real, a real line. Okay. And that would mean that if you want to compare any two alternatives, all that you have to do is you just have to plug those two alternatives into the utility function, figure out what is the number that has been assigned to it. If the number is higher, you're going to say that alternative uh, is higher in the preference ranking of the consumer. Okay. So given this setup, now we are in a position to define the consumer's problem. So the consumer's problem is simply to choose the alternative or the bundle that maximizes his utility subject to the constraint that he cannot spend on that alternative more than he has, which is income. Okay. In the next couple of videos, we'll see, uh, how to plot this constraint and how to uh, see the preference in a 2D space. Okay, so stay tuned. See you in the next video. Thank you.